third game nice of this best of three series the for the grand finals. Remember, there's an Alienware desktop or a laptop on the line. Each player gets their own choice. So the stakes are really high. So far, no kills yet. But again, Taito has done his signature. Let's steal power. Ooh, again. we do have a little bit of a fight here. Charnot taking a bit of damage. He's going to have to get himself out of there, but that's backing him up. And that damage. will let them uh, pull bring back it, after it, doing a little bit of power deny. And Aussie's going to be able to heal, heal the uh, Charnock back up to full roll and doing a little bit of damage. Juking away, they're actually a little up, farther up, up than we've seen these teams uh, get at this stage of the game. Yeah, and uh, a lot of that, again, yeah. comes from the they're amount of power enough. stealing yeah, that, that has happened so far. It hasn't been too much, but during the one time Taito actually managed to get back into the back line, he we did steal have, quite a bit of power, so uh, uh, one of the things we so have to talk about is just at me here. Okay. sort of the builds that these guys have been running. So the Trinox, uh, I believe, have both yep. been running for the burning build rather than the third charge. I don't know about yours, but the I one I'm watching uh, has built okay. the burning every single nobody, time, nobody which that, helps yeah. for two two long drawn out engagements, but it can't burst a single target down nearly as fast. Uh, he's been he's been going for the dots. He's been going for the dots. There's the burning gold yeah, seems to be the popular one to go. Uh, Taito v Taito. Taito from the side of Pleasure Castle chasing out Taito on the side of Team Lana. They're going to pull out, and they're actually going to back up right into that Charna. That's going to be a lot of damage down onto Taito. They should be able to burst straight through him, but they've actually pulled up a couple of members up onto the high ground. Team Lana is doing a good job of defending their Taito and helping him pull out of enemy territory. Meanwhile, in the back line, Roland is trying to do something HK against HK, back. does not quite have the triple bowlers yet, so they're he's going to have a hard ready, time landing his bowlers. Oh, there he oh, goes. He goes HK. The HK almost oh, he down. He goes down. over the wall. This is the he's aggressive going play. The flank. He's almost got it. He's got one. He's going for the second. Oh, the bloomer heel comes in. He's not going to get the second, but that's a one-for-one one trade, and they're still going for more. They're hungry. The bloomer has already used its special ability. It can't do it again for the next 60 seconds, but it looks like both teams want to back off. Meanwhile, the Charnox oh, no, are having Pleasure a Charnox duel. Wants more. Go, Pleasure Castle so going in. They're going to go on the roll, and that's going to be another kill going over to the Tyler. Should be able to aggress onto the creature. They need to bring it down before oh, the enemy Tyler comes in. Tyler v. Tyler, who's going to win this? It's going to be the Tyler from the side of Team uh, Lana. They're going to bring down Pleasure Castle's Tyler. This is a much more aggressive match than we've seen. It looks like HK is going to go down as well, and that's going to be the first push going over to Team Lana. Yep, four to five, along with that extra power steal that happened a little while ago, gives Lana the extra advantage they need for yeah, a push. Just, just Unless back, the roll in from Pleasure Castle can really make a play happen. Oh, they're going aggressive though. Lana's getting a little bit aggressive. This could be the chance for them to take the push back into their Maybe own favor. But no, it looks like Lana is backing right, cool, off. Cool. And they're not going to be yeah, able to do that quite power. yet. Yep, so Team good. Lana is going to be able to get, get the first get push, push of this game. Pleasure Castle looked I've like they were going to be able to mount a solid defense. Now we're going to see them right, group ready. up and start right, pushing with their Guardians. I'm not sure whether or not they're going to try and defend them. Let's go with point. Taito from the side of Leisure Castle is likely to go in for a flank play the moment they step past their Guardian. That's a good one too. Yep, and here comes the Guardian. It's going to start rampaging very soon. And one thing, no one, in the cave right now. one thing you have to consider Pushing is that up. in order to steal power, you need to be right up there, you need right. to be focused. Safe, guys, so all that's all a perfect time for the enemy team to kill you or flank you, and that's exactly what uh, Lon is doing. They're not giving Pleasure Castle the chance to try to steal power. Yep, that's going to be the uh, HK taking a lot of damage. But they've rerouted back towards the middle of the fight. Pleasure Castle looking to find someone. Can they get on top of this HK title? Looks like he wants to go in. But back at the wound, they've got everybody from the side of Pleasure Castle pushing forward. That is a, that is a low shield guarding. But can Taito make something happen here? How comes the swarm? The wound is going to go through. The wound actually hasn't gone through. There it is. But that's going to be two kill pickups for the title. Can they get on to the Vidasi? Charnak now in his sights. He's actually going to get knocked away by the detonation. But Vidasi will go down. That's going to be the double kill. Can they continue this chase? The swoop goes forward. He doesn't have the double swoop. He does have the lunge. No, no, he doesn't have lunge yet, but he does get off the bleed. And needs one more auto. He picks it up, and that's going to be three kills. So a wound, but a lot of power gained by the side of Pleasure Castle. Yeah, Taito's, uh, Taito on Pleasure Castle doing a really good job of landing those bombs, especially on someone who has... Oh, they're going back in for it. 
He's gonna dash forward. Gets right on top of the bloomer. They're gonna bring in the HK. This could be a huge play for them. Out comes the sword. So much damage. The spin to win goes in for the title. They're gonna try and bring down the title from the enemy team. They do get one. Can they pick up a second? The lunge goes forward. He needs a little bit more damage. But Asi is low. She's gonna fall as well. And that is a huge power turn. But here comes Charnock. Can he get anything? No, he's in melee range to a title. And he's gonna go down. That's almost a team wipe. And Pleasure Castle really need to back off right now. The push isn't going to come for going to come for the next 10 or 15 seconds. And at this time, that gives Lana enough time to wipe them if it's possible. Roland goes down to Taito, and now Charnock is in the back. Let's see if he, there's anything he can do, if he can save his friend HK. HK taken down extremely low. One more auto attack, and he's going down. And now Charnock is burning the entire time, and he's going to last ditch effort. Use his focus there. The Guardian is vulnerable, and it looks like Taito is going for it. Taito looks like he might have it. A couple more auto attacks, and he gets it, evening it up two to two. Yep, and that's not a lot of power on the side of Team Lana. Ledger Castle is not that far behind. They could turn things around, especially if they can get Taito out of here. He's going to go with a nice swoop over that pillar. Uses the spin to win to get himself out of there. That's going to be a little bit of a burn, but he should be able to regroup with the rest of his team and start looking for the next push. It looks like Pleasure Castle is playing a lot, playing a lot more uh, oh, just, Taito. Just Taito's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to start getting burned down. He Very will go good. down. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure Castle loses their title, and this could be an awesome push for Lana. Yep, and Lana, they're already looking off to a pretty good start. Pleasure Castle needs to force something to happen, or alternatively, they can wait for the right, shield, wait for the push right to start, yep. start and then force soon. the team fight to make sure they that they get the full shield rather than trying to get the full bar and maybe failing. We so we'll we see healed? what strategy they decide to go with. Yeah. But for now, they're poking out. At the very least, maybe looking for something to engage on. Again, the team comps are exactly the same as they have been, and they do have the Gnosis to engage. Okay, yeah, waiting around this area, they actually haven't upgraded any creatures on the side of Pleasure Castle, whereas um, the other team, they've already upgraded their E. Lana's got one advanced power generation creature, so that's going to help them out. They're going to need to... Uh, Probably pull Taito back and maybe upgrade anymore. one of their creatures if it was an option, but for now they're going to start uh, poking again and looking to get, gain some positional advantage. Yeah, upgrading creatures right, can really be a hidden way to gain, gain, gain a lot more power oh, and help the power they're generation. In, in, oh, Roland's in, going in. ham for it. He gets the bola down. Charnock's up here as well. They're going on to HK. HK is burning. He's going down extremely low. There goes the auto attack. They got to watch out for the Bloomer special ability. Can they get the Roland kill before then? No, it doesn't look like they can, but they daze Taito. The days on Taito. There goes the swarm as well. Taito's taken down extremely low. And at this point, we have a Taito versus Taito. No, Roland's now chasing him down. And Roland needs one more auto attack. Taito's too around he might be able to escape one more auto attack and he's not gonna get it Taito, Taito oh just my god wait Badassi, still Badassi a chance. Still there's in a still ton a of chance trouble. there's still a lot of oh no he gets out pleasure castle he'll get out but the rest of pleasure castle is here they're gonna be able to bring down this creature they pick up the Vidasi, they pick up the charnock and that's huge for them they do need to get their Taito out of there he's burning down but he should be able to get away and back to their bloomer and that's gonna be a good turnaround for the side of pleasure castle they may be able to go in for another wound that, that was a crazy team fight on both sides. And I'm amazed that Lana's title was able to get out of there as well. But now we see Lana advancing. And oh, the hot hail might have almost killed. Yeah, it almost killed someone, but not quite. And now HK picks up the kill on the title as well. And that's going to prevent them from being able to position well enough to defend. Right, we but actually, ready, the spawn timers are still pretty low. Taito is back into the fray already. And they're, they're sprinting yep. all the way back to their Guardian already. They don't want to take any chances. They don't want anyone to sneak past them. Yeah, they do not want to give up the moon. The Naga's about to start pushing forward. Everybody is rotating through the B point. It's going to be a massive fight in this choke as the Guardian starts to advance. They need to slip by him. Taito has managed to get around them. HK is there as well. A Pleasure Castle is trying to group up, but they're taking a lot of damage here from this Charnock, and that's going to be uh, the Guardian going down. It's not the wound yet, but they should be able to get it. It's not a lot of damage, and that's Taito from Pleasure Castle taking down the enemy Charnock. He's doing a lot of damage there. They need to get Charnock on, on top of the Guardian to actually get some damage, and that's going to be a good defense in by Pleasure Castle. They bring oh, down man, one, they bring yeah, down another, and they back. get the full shield. Nice. This full shield, and the only one left alive is Vadasi. Not much she can do against Guardians. Beam weapons are pretty weak against Guardians. Uh, and on top of that, 
it's one person against four people okay. with a full shield. That's not happening for them. So really great defense by Pleasure the Castle. Dossie, she's gonna oh, get bled, they might get and caught she's out. Get rounded. She does get off one of those super jumps. Maybe Titan's gonna be able to close the gap yeah, in onto her. He's got some backup, but doesn't go for it. Yeah, being too aggressive at this point might actually end up killing him, especially since the spawns are in, and most of the teams will eventually start um, like in, in our competitive games, we have a bunch of teams. There, uh, one player oh, always looks at the spawn time. Just going to make sure in, he may be able to get on top of his He's doing a lot of damage to the creature on the side of Pleasure Castle. Pleasure Castle going in for a little bit more damage. Maybe they can get someone. Taito almost knocked off the side of the map. They don't manage to close the gap onto him. He's gonna pick up one. Actually, no, Taito, he gets one, but he starts going get going down from the burn. He will go down, and that's gonna be an amazing play. by the Charnock from the side of, actually both Charnocks are dueling in a 1v1, and it's gonna be Pleasure Castle that comes out ahead. Oh, and a Charnock for Charnock trade. The only two left are the two HKs. Let's see which one comes out on top, both of them. Actually, Lana's HK decides to back away. They were both extremely low on health, so neither of them really wanted to take that fight right there, but all in all, Pleasure Castle gets the push. It looks like this game, Pleasure, Pleasure Castle has a lot more coming synergy than they did the they're past they're two games. Yeah, they're playing really, really well. They're looking to advance with this Guardian. One more advancement, as long as they can make things happen Circling fairly around. quickly, they'll be able to get in there before the enemy they're team shows up. The Guardian is ready to attack. It'll be attacking in about 10 seconds. And the members from Pleasure Castle Watch are the coming back up. The members from Mana are slowly coming back up. And one in person goes Tide of the Swift side. from Pleasure Castle. Going He's going to look to try and bring it. down this wound. Side, a side. lot of damage here. He's going to get jumped on. The rest of his team He's is coming. not He's there going. yet. Go They're going to try and get Tido into Stop the middle it. of the fight. He gets down a little bit of damage with the bleed. Needs a bit more. He needs to get some autos down. Is anybody else there to do some damage? It's going to be the wound going over to Pleasure Castle. And they finally managed to turn things around. Out comes the swarm. They're looking to get as much of a team wipe as they can. They need some kills. They're going onto the HK. That's going to be the aggression forward. But it doesn't look like Nasus is going to survive. Tido with his spin win is going to bring down the Roland and that may be the team wipe for the side of uh, Team Lana. Yep, and yep, HK yep. goes down as well, so that's going to be most of a full bar of power. And as you can see in the top, that is about two thirds. Lana are already off to a great start in this in the clash. They also have two, well, one upgraded creature in the back line. The other one is unupgraded so far, but that is still I actually think that's about even to three creatures total on the map, but they are pushing for C, and if they take that out, they will have the advantage. I don't know if they're going to be able to get it. The Bloomer's going to get some backup now. In comes title from Pleasure Castle. They will be able to get the creature, but maybe they can get the team fight off of this. Charnock is going to get bounced back. They're trying to bring him down. That's a lot of damage. The bleed comes in, and that's going to be one kill going over to Pleasure Castle. They need to keep on the aggression. They cannot let up at this point. They're looking for the enemy Charnock, but he's managed to detonate himself away. Yep. So they only, oh, no, get, dead. they only managed to get one kill out of that so far, but the Kobe comes in. Huge bolas. He gets all three of them into it and a suppressing fire directly afterwards. He's going aggressive. Roland goes in for it. He might be too aggressive, actually. Gets the kill onto Vadasi, but he's going to die in return to the enemy team's title. He grapples, he grapples, but it's not enough. He ends up getting stuck on the rock, and now Charnock is forced to back out as well. Everyone on Pleasure Castle except for Charnock is low. Can they get out? It looks like a couple of auto attacks are not quite enough to do it. HK lives. Yeah, but that's going to be another push coming in for the side of Arna. The question is whether or not this push is going to happen while they're all still down. The respawns are there, but they're, gonna, they're still going to need a little bit before they can get in range. The Guardian should be advancing in a few seconds. There they go. Now the question is, is whether or not actually auto wound, and that's an advantage towards uh, Team Lana. They not only get the auto wound, but oh no, the power gauge does go down. So now can Pleasure Castle make this happen? They need one more wound to end the game. So Pleasure Castle, they they have two creatures. Yeah. Both teams have two creatures right now, okay. but Pleasure Castle, none of those are upgraded. Lana has one upgraded creature, so get Lana gets get a slightly team. faster power uh, generation. Well, but Pleasure Castle could up could yeah, go back and upgrade. Let's okay. see, they have yeah, they only have one focus up at focus. the moment, so it could only be Roland. And I think they want to save it for a pick because oh, one kill is going to snowball this in either team's direction, and Pleasure Castle surely wants to get that kill. Yeah, Pleasure Castle grouping up to try and pick off somebody. They're laying in some fairly decent mode, but they have to be wary of the enemy Charnock. Tidal the Swift looking for a flank. He wants to stop any possible backhapping coming in, and that's going to be a pretty good mortar. It's going to displace the Gnosis, but still, at this point, it's going to be a little bit of a waiting game. So something that it takes uh, a lot of players a long time to really get down is stamina management. You never really want to run out of stamina, because if you do, then when yeah, you jump or dodge, you're going to do the long jump or dodge animation. And that 
even though it gets you to the side really quickly, maybe enough to dodge one Amani shot, but you get slowed down so much and basically stopped where you end for about a second before you can really do anything again. So that's something that both both teams need to keep in mind. And stamina only regens when you are not attacking and when you're not sprinting or jumping. So uh, they really need to keep that in mind. As we see right now, Charnoff doesn't really have uh, much of his stamina left right now. So perhaps he wants to stop attacking for a little bit, let that regen so that if anyone jumps on him, he's going to be able to dash away. Yep, for the moment, uh, both teams still grouped up. And I don't know if this is going to work the way that Pleasure uh, Castle wants it to in terms of power generation. Two, and two large creatures for the side of Team Mana. They're slowly going to be able to uh, win the uh, War of Attrition that keeps waiting on passive power generation. Don't get hit. Just keep their yep, and the Shoot passive that. power generation. At, at this point, Pleasure Castle need to at least spend one focus to go back and upgrade one of their creatures. No, Otherwise, they're going to lose this battle of power generation. I would even upgrade both creatures. They have that two focuses up right now. One on uh, one on Roland and one on HK, as you can see in the bottom bars. Yeah, we're catching up on that's enough power. to get a creature on both of those points but they're not opting to go for that yet they're, they're they want to save out. their focuses for a team fight but it's gonna have yeah, to be a really in. good team fight to give up those creatures and that passive uh, power generation they circling around they're yeah, circling around team they're they're moving, the they they move Kaido looking to try and play around for some kind of advantage needs to find something for his team because right now they're not getting much that's gonna be one of the creatures being upgraded oh, yeah, are they upgrading a second there they, they go so that's gonna help them in their power generation although it's gonna be reduced for a short amount of time yeah, and that, oh, that's pretty huge for their team, too, so they're still yeah. ahead in power right now. They, their, bar, their bar is slightly ahead, and with these two upgrades, their power is going to be... Their power generation is going to be equal to Lana's, which means that they're going to be able to stay ahead, which is the most important thing there. So if they do decide to play the passive game, they're going to get the push. However, Lana's going to get the shield if they don't do anything about it, which is something that Pleasure Castle could just say, all right, yeah, let's do it. Let's play passive. Let's not attack. Have us get the push, them get the shield. Let's poke at it from range. We have HK, we have Roland. Two really long range characters. Uh, Roland has a burn too, which really destroys uh, destroys guardians. And basically make sure that they don't, don't die. Because if any of them die, then uh, Lana gets power towards their wounds. So if they can do that, do this sort of slow game, take small advantages and do that twice, they might be able to get the wound and yep. the win. So it's gonna be really, really close as to who gets the power. Oh, so yeah, three focus. Focus. It obviously won't be even, but aggressing with the enemy Guardian can't help. Where Pleasure Castle does step up and reduces the Guardian's passive power regeneration yeah. by just getting close enough to put it within aggression. So if they can continue to do that, that might help as it looks like uh, Team Lana is actually Level ahead in the power game. Which is really uh, odd. They had two for longer. They had two for way longer than Pleasure Castle. They had two advanced creatures for, uh, I'd say, 60 seconds longer than Pleasure Castle. Too. We'd have to see. We have to see um, someone try to go in and delay the power generation ahead, by keeping yeah. the creatures in combat, keeping the guardian uh, yeah, in combat, ahead, maybe yeah, running like by it. and uh, stealing a little bit of power. But a lot of that depends on how confident Taito is to getting out. So you can get in, you can steal power, you can prevent them from generating power. It's enough to get you a small edge, and a lot of times small edges can be victories. But if he dies in the process, he's going to give up way more power than he's going to generate like that. Oh, and the map, the, the, map the, the bars are really similar right now. Just one of those plays is going to be able to do it. Yep, it's going to be super, super close. Whichever team decides to go in, that's going to be a uh, good counter attack by the enemy Naga. Uh, he threw out that poison and uh, did some good damage over onto, I believe it was trying to get a little bit of speed boost. They're possibly looking to aggress the side and make the play. But for now, still playing the power game, and we now you guys can clearly on. see that it's going to be Team Lana with the advantage in the power game. They've they're done it. Uh, they yep, there it goes uh, uh, Team Pleasure Castle going in for we something. Top, they know they need to start aggressing and possibly make a play. They're going to try and steal away a little bit of power, but they're going to take so much damage from the enemy Guardian. That's going to bring them very, very low. This could be the chance that Team Lana need to win the game. Yeah, pushing into that choke point was not the best. Immobilize on three heroes. They're going in. Charnock Huge goes for focus. Ultimate. That's going to do a lot. Taito is going to go down. And the first push is going to go over to the side of Team of Team Lana. But Pleasure Castle, they do have the full wound. They're going to go for the wound. Can they finish the game here? That it's going to be down. Wipe. It's a full team wipe. Can Lana end it here? The push is almost finished. And 15 seconds on spawn shield. timers. 15 seconds. That is a huge amount of time. Let's see if Lana can do it. It's pure PvE. Is right it going to get the recovery? The respawn in four, there. three, two, one. They're not going to do it. 
Lana! Lana! No! Recovery! Oh my oh god! My god. One second left. The recovery. The recovery. This is oh Pleasure Castle's chance. God. They pick up some kills on the off as well. They've got half a power bar. This is Pleasure Castle's game to lose. That is the hand of God shining upon Pleasure Castle. If they miss this chance, they have nobody to fall but themselves. Guardian recovered at the last second. You can't see the health bar. You can't see the Guardian health bar. Anymore. That, that, is, that is one hit. One hit from anybody on the side of Pleasure Castle uh, or, uh, from Team Lana. If that were to go down, that would be game. Now they're going to play the passive power game again. Uh, yes, per so usual. We're going to do a little bit of waiting. Any, um, anybody got any elevator music? Well, I don't know any elevator music on the top of my head, level but I can three. do Jeopardy. Level one, I, got level one. Do, do, no, I didn't do, mean do. actually do it. <laughs> it's going to be a Pleasure Castle right now, looking for a flank. They realize if they let the full power generation go through, that it's going to be too much of a shield for them to deal with, and it could possibly turn yeah, into see, another situation down. like that. That is just so heartbreaking for the side of Team Lana. They're going to need the defense of the ages to turn things around. They could also have the Guardian recover at the very last second one auto attack away. That's not that happening. Could, that that is happen. not happening twice. That is not happening twice. I, no. Okay. Why? You're not letting it? I, I, that would be too insane. That would just be too much. I, I would just like drop the mic and walk away. Yeah. It's going to be a, uh, okay. good poke war in advantage for, uh, Team Pleasure Castle. They're going to group up again and try and drop somebody down. Now they do have the right. power generation. It's gonna wind up being about half a shield. That's more, or that's gonna be reasonable for them to try and make the play. But there goes the sneak. Somebody's sneaking off into the D point. They're gonna need to send Taito. Taito's actually oh, going in for some time. power steal. This could have been over aggressive. He's gonna get grounded. He's gonna get played. Oh, in goes the Nasus. The they need a little bit more damage. They got that's him. gonna be the kill. And this is gonna be a clear advantage going in for Team Pleasure Castle. And they are on the rampage. They are going forward. That's gonna be the HK. He's gonna get knocked back by the tornado. The Nasus is there trying to keep him alive. They may back up off of this because this Pleasure could be a bait. Castle this could be a serious bait. It's a lot of damage. Is Taito gonna go down? Vidas whenever you get a kill, if, he's, if he sets the spawn timers, whenever you get a kill, if they can keep on this tear, Taito's they can still keep alive. them from spawning. Taito is still alive. This is going to be super, super One close, though. One more kill. Roland gets it. Roland gets the double. One more shot, and they got it. They got it. There is no shield. This should be game. How long are the spawn timers? It looks like they're too, oh, too long past 15 it's seconds. It's going to be Pleasure Council picking up the win. The hand of God shined on them, and they are going to pick it up. Pleasure Castle, take the win and take home Alienware computers. <laughs> oh Amazing right. game. Uh, wow. That is the best you could ask for.